Welcome, to the Corp Vault channel, in this video we will discuss, various backup types. Please, like, share, comment or suggest, subscribe for more videos, and, you can follow us on Instagram. The backup types that we are going to discuss, are mostly common to any backup tool, but, we might focus on Comvault if needed. Let's pick two servers, a file server, and a database server. In both the servers, the common element is data, but the use might be different. For a server, operating system is common, be it Windows, or Unix. The way Unix works is different. For Windows, apart from operating system files, you have system state. The system state contains following components, and services. Some might be non-essential, but some are essential, for system state recovery. Let's discuss file system backup with example. Do note that, the file system could also represent other data, such as database tables, active directory objects and attributes. Ideally, backup does not see a file by its type. It only sees it as a file, in other words, as a flat file, and perform backup. In our example, we have six files from A to F. Full backups. Backups for any client start with a full backup. A full backup, when started, it runs a full scan on the server, and makes a catalog of all the files, regardless of the type, and then writes all the data on the server, changed and unchanged, to the backup media. If we speak for Convault, then it is the sub-client contents, that will be scanned and backed up. The full backup becomes a baseline, to which subsequent backup types are applied. In our example, it is version 0 of a file. Also, if the file is changed, then the version number of the file is changed, for easy understanding. What contribute to the change of file? It is usually, created, modified, accessed, and other attributes of the file, which can be seen from the file properties. Incremental backups. An incremental backup contains, only data that is new, or has changed since the last backup, regardless of the type. It means, the backup will not write, the entire file to backup media, but, it will only write the changes made to the file, since last backup to the backup media. Hence, on average, incremental backups consume far less media, compared to full backups. When incremental backups start, it will run a scan, and checks which files been created, modified, accessed, since last backup, and then catalog them for backup. In our example, files A and B are modified, hence changes made for those two files, are backed up, to backup media. What if a new file is created on a day, when incremental backup is scheduled? During scan phase, files that are created, modified, accessed, since last backup are checked. If a new file is found, then a full backup of that file is performed. This is what happens to file F, in our example. Other files B and C are incrementals, hence changes made since the time of the last backup, are written to backup media. The same process continues, on all incremental backups made on other days. On Sunday the file D, is deleted before the incremental backup is run. The latest version of the file, was backed up on Thursday's incremental backup, which can be recovered if needed. If you have noticed, file E did not change, therefore it was not backed up in any of the incremental backups. On a Monday, a full backup has run, which backed up, all the files present on that day, including file E. Let's discuss differential backup. In our example, let's say on a Thursday and Monday, differential backups are scheduled. By now you know, incremental backups are dependent on, previous day's backup, be it full, or incremental. A differential backup contains, only the data, that is new, or has changed since the last full backup. In our example, the Thursday's differential backup, contains files with changes made from last full backup. Likewise, Monday's differential backup contains files with changes, made from last full backup. Like incrementals, 
differential backups on average, consume less media, compared to full backups. Differential backups are cumulative. This means that, each differential backup contains, all changes accumulated since the last full backup. In our example, each successive differential backup contains, all the changes from the previous incremental, or differential backup. Let's discuss synthetic full backup. As the name suggests, it is a synthesized backup. It is created from the most recent full backup, that is, a standard or synthetic backup, and subsequent incremental and, or differential backups. The resulting synthetic full backup is identical, to what would have been created by a normal full backup. Unlike full, incremental and differential backups, a synthetic full backup does not actually transfer data, from a client computer to the backup media. In this sense it is not really a backup at all, rather a backup consolidator. Synthetic full backups, enable you to create, full backups from existing incremental, and differential backups. Because, the source data originates from existing backups, no new data is backed up. Unless the run incremental backup option is selected in Convault. Running an incremental backup, immediately before the synthetic full, ensures that any new or recently changed data, is included in the synthetic full. Running an incremental backup, immediately after the synthetic full, ensures that any new or recently changed data, since the backup performed, is backed up by the incremental. We have catalogued some of the Convault agents, and their supported backup types. Please go through them. Please note for Microsoft SQL agent. If you have enabled Auto Discover Instance, in SQL configuration, and if an database admin adds, a very large database, then the subsequent transaction log, or differential backup might run long, because of newly added database backup, being converted to full backup. We will end this video here. Do subscribe for more videos, if not already done so. Do subscribe for more videos. Thank you.